Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Hot Toys Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike set. Um, and I'll do a comparison of the uh, Scout Trooper first with the old uh, Sideshow version from about seven years ago. Um, so here you can see them side by side, but I'll uh, get them out of the way and uh, just quickly go through the accessories and the differences there. Just uh, hold on a second. Alright, so as you can see, the old Sideshow did come with some diorama pieces that are removable. Um, I think this uh, just sort of comes off in parts like so, and you just fit them in. And then it did come with uh, this piece that can some, uh, just come off, so you could just use the standard base if you wanted to. Uh, but for these sorts of pieces, I think they do add quite a bit to the, uh, the way you want to display them, um, and the natural sort of look they have in the a display cabinet so I think um, that was a nice touch of sideshow there um, I don't think that was even um, an exclusive uh, for this set uh, originally seven years ago um, and it is very nicely painted as well so I think uh, the way they've done the, the sort of weathering and the, the wood look there is uh, very nice compared to I guess Hot Toys fairly lazy way um, this is just the, uh, the sort of standard exchangeable um, base sort of sticker plate thing um, that they have underneath is just a standard brown um, so I think that was pretty lazy they did add um, some diorama pieces with the Endor Leah and um, I think the Wicket figure as well uh, that set so uh, I think uh, they could have done better here uh, but um, I guess they've just given the the standard base there so I definitely have to give points to, to Sideshow in that regard um, I'll just get the bases out of the way here. Um, in terms of weapons, the original Sideshow exclusive version of the set uh, came with this rifle. Now, I can't actually remember the model name or number for the weapon itself. Someone over on uh, One Six Republic did uh, call it out for me, but um, I can't remember that sort of thing these days. Uh, but the rifle does look pretty nice. Um, it's something that never appeared in the movie, um, but I think it might have appeared in some of the more recent um, uh, video games. Um, Sideshow did a pretty good job with some of the sort of silver wash and weathering and so on, um, so it was pretty good for its time. Um, now the Hot Toys version, as always, their weapons typically have better detail and weathering. Uh, I wouldn't say the weathering on this particular version is all that good, to be honest. It does look a little bit... Um, bland with the core black there and then the sort of silver streaks um, some of their weapons from the clones and the stormtroopers and so on I think have had a little bit more natural sort of weathering and the the base sort of black uh, has looked a little bit better but as you can see with the sort of holes in the uh, barrel here do look more realistic and so on so uh, definitely prefer that the Hot Toys pistol um, pretty much the same sort of design, uh, slightly larger than the Sideshow. I wouldn't say the pen application is too different. You can sort of see the slight differences in design and size. Um, so I think uh, Hot Toys is probably uh, the better version now. Um, and then the only other thing that uh, I've got out here is the whole slew of hands swap out gloves and so on that you can get with the Hot Toys version. Sideshow's version had to um, swap out entire sort of gauntlets, not just the hand part, uh, which I thought was pretty good. And Sideshow always includes um, the wrist peg as well, so Hot Toys doesn't do that. So overall, I think um, the moulding itself is pretty good. Um, as you'd expect for these sort of trooper figures, nothing too fancy. Um, so pretty even on in that regard. But um, I think uh, the main point uh, to compare is the figures, so I'll uh, grab them and give you guys a close side-by-side. -side. All right, before I do the side-by-side -side comparison, I thought I'd just go through some quick thoughts on the figure itself. Um, as you can see here, Hot Toys have done a pretty damn awesome job. Um, the underlying body itself is the usual high quality from, from Hot Toys. Um, I was expecting um, some ratchet joints because some of the more recent bodies I've had in uh, some figures did have ratchet joints but um, everything on this figure uh, seems to be uh, friction only um, as you can see you can get uh, quite a range of motion in the arms there and uh, decent in the legs as well to get the uh, speeder bike underneath there 
um, so you get all the usual range of motion with the double jointed knees and so on as well um, so I think uh, the body itself uh, when I do show the uh, comparison against the sideshow you that's probably the biggest improvement uh, for the figure um, the boots here uh, I'm not sure if they're too much of an improvement this material does scare me a little bit it's a very thin sort of plastic um, almost like um, I'm not sure what analogy I could have it's not a sort of parachute material but it is very thin um, so just be careful you don't catch it inside the joint or anything like that and, and split the material. Um, so there is no joint for the, uh, the ankle. Uh, it does have the sort of full range of motion um, and so on. So you can get the full rocking motion or the sort of pointing down when he's on the speeder bike, etc. So just be careful there you don't catch the material inside. The material of the black suit itself is um, sort of a cotton material which is nicely patented. Um, so you get all the seaming and so on in the right places. These flaps are sort of loose as well um, in sort of different ways to the, the old Sideshow version um, which I'll show in a second. Uh, that, uh, I don't know if these are, doesn't look like they're thermal detonators. I'm not sure exactly what that is anymore. But um, that sort of just clips on in the back um, on the belt there. Uh, similar to the way the, the Sideshow version did it. Um, other than that, I think the uh, with the body itself, I think uh, the best part is the the overall proportions of the body. It does uh, look far more like a man in a suit than the the sideshow version. Uh, but uh, it is interesting to see some of the differences um, where I do actually prefer uh, some of the sideshow um, features that uh, they included. Um, so I'll go grab the figure again and uh, give you guys a side by side. Hold on. Alright, so here they are side by side, and as you can clearly see, the Sideshow version is a little shorter. Um, and the overall body proportions um, just don't look um, like that man in suit. Uh, I think the legs are sort of okay, the torso area is a little bit longer than um, I think is, is needed. And the arms don't come down to the sides as far, and so you sort of have this weird sort of chicken bow effect. Uh, with the arms because that's uh, it might be a mixture of uh, the suit itself getting caught or the armor there uh, but I think the Hot Toys version uh, can close in a little bit to, to the sides to, to give a more, a more natural sort of looking body to it. The legs are a little bit thicker and thighs are a little bit thicker on the, the, uh, the Hot Toys version um, but uh, the underlying body itself I think is way looser on the um, Sideshow version, uh, the arms sort of just the joints themselves. I don't think it's uh, due to age either or me you know, over articulating because I barely touch my figures to be honest um, once they're in the display cabinet. But uh, the legs, the legs are a little bit looseish and the knees, the knees are okay. Um, but um, I've never actually posted on the bike because of too many reports that uh, it was too hard to get the uh, the Sideshow figure on the bike itself. Um, so I never even bothered. I just had it posed. Um, on the stand with the rifle in that sort of um, um, sort of classic sniper um, pose. The um, other main differences are of course the uh, paint application. Uh, the Sideshow version has a bit of a green tinge to it in the armor. I'm not sure if it's sort of coming through but it does have a darker shade. Um, and the weathering, particularly in the boots, is a little bit heavy handed. I do like that um, it does look uh, dirty and so on but it does look a little bit too heavy handed um, compared to the rest of the figure. Um, the armor and so on is pretty much the same. Um, I guess the design, the, the Hot Toys version here, um, the shoulder pads are just attached by Velcro, whereas the shoulder pads here, you can see the um, sort of strap. So all of these parts are strapped on. Um, Whereas the Hot Toys version, the only straps are on the, the elbow areas there, those two parts. This is just Velcro, which is, which is better. Um, so you can sort of take them off like so and just adjust it so it doesn't, so it doesn't sit so hard. out of the box. It was sort of sitting up like so, which didn't look very natural. But if you just adjust it lower like that, it does look a lot better. Um, and my uh, Sideshow thermal detonator or whatever that thing is uh, just uh, fell off but you can sort of see the clips at the back there 
armor wise um, the sideshow version um, from this top part it used to stick up too high so the the shoulder positions sort of stuck up uh, like this if I can sort of grab it sort of stuck up like that a lot of the times but you can adjust it so that this uh, torso area um, particularly at the back it's a little hard to fit it underneath but if you sort of fit it underneath like so and then um, tuck it in at the front it does sit on the shoulders in a much more natural way um, the areas that I think the sideshow version did do better I think uh, it's more movie accurate that these uh, pouches at the front here flap up um, whereas on the Hot Toys version they've actually sewn them uh, straight onto the suit so you can't move them at all um, and they do look a little bit puffy I'm not sure if that's just a, a reuse from the Mandalorian version um, but um, I do actually prefer these this look from the uh, sideshow version uh, the sort of crotch area here this is much more uh, movie accurate um, on the Hot Toys here being this size uh, that's way too small compared to uh, what you see on screen um, the belt again is slightly different as well different patterning I'm not quite sure exactly which is more movie accurate but uh, they're all very similar in the in the design I'll just turn them around here so the Hot Toys version again you can just take take that off and so that'll give you a better look on the uh, the strap around the the waist there it does sit a little bit higher on the, the Hot Toys version uh, which I prefer um, I did try to lift this up over above the um, the torso area here but it just won't uh, sort of get there um, and so that when you put this on it does tend to fly off when you move the figure um, the straps or the flaps here the sideshow version has this full sort of flap that goes across as opposed to the the two pockets on the uh, the Hot Toys version I can't get a clear look in, in from the movie um, to, to sort of decide whether or not to, which one's more movie accurate I do like um, that the sideshow version does have this material around the inside of the the pants which is like um, what you see on sort of horse riders where the the pants have that extra padding um, on the inside there so it's a slightly sort of different material to the sort of cotton um, what are they called I can't remember the the term for it uh, starts with a C but either way <laughs> um, the uh, the material here is different I don't see that sort of um, difference here on the Hot Toys version it's all the same sort of cotton material so there is sort of this um, stitching and so on that might uh, be intended to replicate that but I do like that look on the the Sideshow version uh, knee pads are pretty similar I guess um, and they're sort of turned the right way for for this particular movie from Return of the Jedi um, but other than that I'm just struggling to think of what else I can do to compare I think um, the helmets uh, the Hot Toys is a little bit smaller um, but I think um, uh, fits the body proportions a little bit better the visor is, isn't so wide uh, people were talking about the length of the uh, the part here that sort of juts out um, and that Hot Toys uh, doesn't jut out enough well I think that's actually movie accurate uh, based on some of the screenshots that I've seen and the uh, what I can view on Disney Plus um, the visor is never as long as what you see here on the Sideshow version so I think the Hot Toys is is definitely more movie accurate um, the other thing about the helmet you know there were a lot of complaints about this um, sort of side gap here where the front of the visor um, sort of fold down um, people were complaining about this gap here uh, now that was a reuse of the Mandalorian mold but again I think that is movie accurate and it, it comes and goes I guess in the movie depending on which trooper you're looking at um, there is the gap there or in some, some scenes the gap is not there but I think with the gap um, if you look at the scenes with uh, Princess Leia and so on where the, the trooper sort of captures her and so on I think um, uh, you'll see that to that gap most in that sequence there so either way I think uh, Hot Toys um, have done a pretty good job with that um, helmet and it uh, I guess underneath you can sort of see it's almost got like a uh, a fake um, molded 
head in there, whereas the Sideshow version is just um, pretty much just a blank peg, so you don't even get a feel for actually anything being inside that helmet. Um, but that is pretty much it for the Scout Troopers. Um, so overall, I think uh, if you don't have the Sideshow version, uh, the Hot Toys version obviously is the, the way to go. Um, with the better body, uh, better articulation, um, and overall better movie accuracy. Although there are some minor parts of the Sideshow version that are more movie accurate. Um, but uh, I'll get on to the speeder bikes now. I was thinking of whether or not to do a separate video, but I'll just continue on on this video and give you guys a comparison of the two speeder bikes. Hold on. Right, so here are the bikes side by side, and uh, they are going to—they are struggling to fit in my light box here. Um, and hopefully, I don't uh, struggle turning it around. I can just make it. But um, this is the sideshow at the front here, with the Hot Toys at the rear. So the, you can see the size is pretty much the same. Um, I think uh, the Hot Toys version just extends out by I don't know half a centimeter or so in size but for the most part the width and length are very very similar um, they're again similar to the um, Scout Trooper there are aspects of the original Sideshow version that I prefer um, and I think the difference in quality is uh, less uh, apparent uh, with the speeder bike than it was with uh, the Scout Trooper I think with the Scout Trooper the Hot Toys is the the clear winner but I think with the uh, speeder bike here, um, I wouldn't necessarily say that the Hot Toys version is a clear winner. The paint application, as you can see, I think uh, the Hot Toys version definitely has the better paint application that's more sort of refined, if you want to call it that. The uh, sort of weathering effects here on the Hot Toy, uh, the Sideshow version are a little bit, um, I guess, heavy handed and uh, not as refined, whereas you can sort of see the weathering effects oops, weathering effects on the Hot Toys version here a little bit more um, refined and intentional where you can sort of see these street, street marks where, you know, I guess the, the thing is moving pretty fast so as the, uh, the rocks or whatever else it hits um, streak across sort of has these streak marks I think the paint application on the, the front um, uh, spoilers or whatever these things are called definitely you can see more uh, weathering there that's uh, more realistic um, the Hot Toys version does look slightly larger as well at the front there um, I think the weathering down on this black section at the bottom here is probably better on the sideshow it does look uh, like it's got a bit more of the dirt wash there whereas it's a little bit more clean here for the Hot Toys version, which is, I guess, a little bit uh, counter to all of the weathering and so on on the, uh, the bike itself. The back pouch, as you can see here, uh, very different. It's only got a uh, single sort of uh, pillow inside here that you fold away, whereas the uh, Sideshow version, I don't even think had a pillow. It's this sort of, sort of blanket or cover thing that uh, is just sort of folded up into to two levels. So um, I do prefer the, the pillow or the, the seat there, um, but the, the weathering, I don't mind the weathering on the, uh, the Sideshow version. Uh, they could have done this sort of splotching effect a little bit better, um, but the color and the, uh, the overall sort of folding design, um, I don't mind at all. Um, the rear here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother being able to view that but if I sort of move the camera down a little bit give you guys a better look at that the rear is pretty similar as well um, and they do both articulate uh, if I just do that without snapping anything off and you can sort of get some sort of the engine detail inside that's uh, very similar as well um, the pedals here the hot toys version at least allows you some rotation i think on the sideshow version uh, from what i can remember it can't even move so if i just uh, that seems pretty fixed in place i'm not going to try and snap that off um, and as you can see on this side a bit clearer you can see some of the weathering there as well the what else the front part here the biggest gripe that i've got with the hot toys version 
is this very strange uh, gap at the front here. So with the Sideshow version, there was a bit of assembly where I think there were various aspects that you needed to clip together. The Hot Toys version is pretty much fully assembled apart from the handlebars um, and these sort of um, little levers at the front here. So this whole section here um, was pre-assembled and this gap just looks very, very weird. Um, and these, uh, this framing at the front here then starts to uh, sort of tilt downwards so it's not straight across like the Sideshow version. So I don't think um, that looks that great. I would I much prefer the way the Sideshow version looks and the all of this sort of mechanism and levers and so on on the side here, they're not movable from what I can tell. But again, I think I don't actually mind the Sideshow version. Um, the Hot Toys version looks pretty good too um, and is a slightly different design, but uh, there are some aspects of the Sideshow version like these thicker struts at the front here compared to the very thin ones here. I just um, think the uh, the Sideshow version has done a, a pretty good job there. Um, this front section, there is um, some detailing on the, the inside there. If I can actually show you that. Um, but uh, I don't think um, the Hot Toys version is that much better than the uh, sideshow version. Um, now I guess the biggest improvement for the Hot Toys version is probably the handlebars. Um, it is a thicker design um, so you do need to insert them here which was an absolute pain because it's so tight um, and then you adjust the levers here. Um, so they are a thicker design and do look better so because they don't warp as you can see on the sideshow version these are pretty frail um, and are prone to warping um, but from a size perspective I think the um, sort of accuracy in how thin these uh, wires or struts are I think are probably more movie accurate I would say based on what I can see of the speeder bike chase and so on whereas the Hot Toys version um, has far thicker struts and gears and so on so um, I think these are probably less fragile, but I would say the Sideshow again is probably a little bit more movie accurate in terms of their sizing and, and scale. The detailing in the handlebars themselves though, I, I love the Hot Toys detail. Um, these are, you can sort of adjust them with the bike and so on or when you get the, the figure on top, but um, I think uh, that's where the Hot Toys version does win out in some of that detail. The levers, as I was talking about before, the the sideshow version does have bigger sort of knobs on the, the levers. Again, I'm not quite sure which is more movie accurate, but uh, I don't mind the way the sideshow looks. Um, so as you can see, there's probably pros and cons both ways. If you have this version from the uh, old sideshow, uh, and you're only going to get the Scout Trooper from Hot Toys, that's probably okay. I don't think you need to get the um, uh, speeder bike from Hot Toys to have the definitive uh, version of the Scout Trooper, uh, of the speeder bike. The bases, I think, um, I missed the bases. I think the base on the Hot Toys version is probably slightly better. Um, it does have these uh, adjustable uh, leaves and so on, or ferns, whereas the old Sideshow one was pretty bad in the way that uh, had all of these pieces detachable and you can sort of still see the the, the core base there I mean these all sort of come off and so on so it is pretty uh, delicate in how you adjust it so I think uh, the base is definitely better on the, uh, the Hot Toys version um, but uh, I think uh, overall if you have the old sideshow there's probably not much need for you to to upgrade um, for me I'll probably keep both in the display um, just because you know I love the speeder bike and the scout trooper um, and I'll have them slightly dif differently posed in the collection um, in different shelves and so on so um, they'll probably look uh, pretty good um, separated like that um, in the display cabinet um, but other than that, that's pretty much um, all I have to, to say about the speeder bike. Um, pros and cons both ways, as I mentioned. So um, 
hopefully uh, what I, my thoughts here and the, the look that you can see is uh, giving you some info to make your own mind up on uh, which uh, which one you, you go with. I'm not sure if this is available still on, on Sideshow. I think they did re-release it. Um, so it, if, it, if it is available, um, I guess it will come down to a, uh, a cost comparison as well. Um, but I think uh, you'll uh, be pretty happy with both, I think, um, as I am. So um, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you like that look and can give the video a like um, and subscribe to the channel as well. I'll uh, have a few more things coming through Pop Culture and uh, Big Bad Toy Store in the coming months. So hopefully you can stick around for all of that. Uh, and until then, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.